as we can see, yesterday or uh, Tuesday, they took the uh, trading right back up to the top of this trend channel. Wednesday, they just blasted it back down into the middle of this trading range. Today, it looked like they brought the Dow right down to where they tested the lower trend channel. Now we have to see if they're going to bounce up from here or continue to bob this down along the trend channel before they can turn it back up again. The NASDAQ also caught right in the middle of this downtrending channel. Uh, did a doji today, which makes it very simple to see how they're going to open it tomorrow. If they open it lower, uh, anticipate coming down to test this uh, lower trend channel here fairly soon. The U.S. dollar still in a downtrend ever since it broke back down through the T-line. Came up and almost used the T-line as resistance today and sold off. Good possibility they'll take it down some more, possibly all the way back down to test this level uh, where we saw a series of dojis. Silver uh, rolled over, traded back below the T-line. They, they could bring silver all the way back down to the 200-day moving average. With the uh, Dow not knowing which way to go, it's good to have a few short positions. Notice how Ann failed at the T-line with a left-right combo, bearish combo. Good possibility they could be taking this all the way down to the uh, 200. So you want to be short uh, this position. At the same time, one of our recommendations today was FEIC coming out of this little fry pan bottom. Uh, traded positive today. This is the type of pattern you want to be long. So this, with these uh, market conditions where we don't know which way the market is going, the candlestick signals give you a good opportunity to go long or short uh, or both at the same time and still make some money on in both directions as long as there is a definite uh, market direction. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.